it is here guys if anybody has ever watched any of my cooking videos you will know the one thing that frustrates me the most is not having a sharp knife well I hope that day is over oh, I've already washed it Look at that bad boy we're gonna give it the ultimate test we're gonna cut a mater look at that big pump red juicy dude from my garden I've been saving this just for this test are you ready here we go I need just the camera just right you gotta you gotta make some silly movements you know because I, I, we get this side here up oh see a mater sandwich in the very very near future Man, let me get on up in there look at that mater oh go thin I am in heaven effortless now I just gotta make sure I wash this after every use and do not stick it down in no dishwater. I'm gonna get five times the amount of tomatoes just by having a sharp knife. Alright, move that aside. Oh man. Uh oh, it's a mushy tomato. I'm gonna dice it. This is called a Powden German steel. Not a very expensive one. I think I paid 30 bucks for it, but I'll tell you what. Better than anything I got. Alright guys. Happy trails. I'm having me a mater sandwich. Well you've been in there all day, young lady. You not feeling good today? You look fine, you're just being lazy, yeah. You come out and finish your supper. I've been feeding her twice a day, and we get her fattened back up. Now eat supper. And look here, you got a milk bone in there waiting on you too. Yeah, fresh water. Well, I ain't seen you get up once today. You've been here all night. So you weren't you didn't get hit by no car or nothing. You, I'd know that. Alright, Tilly Tillers. Chick chick. Chick chick. Ow, I almost busted my butt. Watch out, Waddles. The maters. Chicken love summertime. Get it. Come on, Thelma Lou, come on out there. I think Waddles was embarrassed to eat in front of the camera. Oh, there he goes. Here comes Thelma Lou. Yeah. Nice big poop. And this also came today. I waited about five, I guess five, six weeks. All the way from China. I hope I ain't got no kind of Chinese bug or something in there. Anyway, we'll take a peek. These are the custom fit bamboo. Boy, I was expecting a little bit thicker bamboo than that. Looks like two picks. Yeah. I don't know. I guess they look all right. Let's see where Twinder this goes in. Uh, well, if it's supposed to go to this window. Yeah, I think once I get it all unraveled, it'll it'll fit good. 
Yeah, I was thinking them be a little thicker than what they are, but we'll see how they work. But I got one custom cut for each size of these windows. All four of these are the same. So there's four and then three. Man, it took forever for these things to get here. And they're, they're real light. I don't know. I read the reviews kind of after I bought them. Some are good. Some are bad. It was mostly people bitching because it took so long to get there. Well, you know, it's coming from China. Things don't come from China overnight. So you won't see these hanging up until I do the big reveal when this thing's done. And there ain't no telling how long that's going to be, man. Oh. And you know, even if it was done now, I probably wouldn't be sitting out here. Because <laughs> it's just too hot to enjoy it. But I've got a lot of stuff waiting, man. There's all my plumbing. That's the table that goes to this chair. Well, there's four of these chairs. Uh, uh, the carpet. Yeah, I forget what else. Yeah, seems like, oh, the ceiling fan. Yeah, so i got a lot of work to do in here yet. A lot. And I, I don't even have screws in these yet. I just tacked it in with that little thing so there's some things I can probably come out here and do in the mornings but oh well I can't wait to get everything painted that's gonna be cool let's go take a look out here in the garden see how bad things are looking I noticed they're not producing anymore even the ones that have blossoms are not putting out anything and they probably won't peppers it hasn't really affected them or the uh, herbs that is rosemary, that is uh, thyme, yeah, and these peppers that are coming out now, they're so little, I just give them to the chicken, and that thing, I don't know what that is, I think that's a weed, but I ain't never seen no weed like that around here, <sighs> a wig plant's still going, they're not producing though. I gave it a good heavy water in this morning and I harvested a whole bunch of serrano peppers off that. And I'm gonna let these last remaining tomatoes sit another day or so. Who's that creature? What are you? Get off my mater. Get off my mater. Go ahead and pick that. Still ripening in the house. But boy, these marigolds go nuts, don't they guys? I don't know if they're taken away from the tomatoes or not. I got one down here. Let's go down here. This dude ain't got nothing on it. Something stripped it of all the leaves. It's pretty much done for, but I got a nice marigold there. But that's funny because that's the only one like that. None of the other ones are like that. So if you know what that's doing that, let me know. I don't know. Kind of a disappointing year for the gardens with the heat because I put a lot of effort and money into this garden this year. But they can spring back once these temperatures go away. If they go away, look at this dude. He's like, I don't care. I'm growing. I'm gonna blossom. Got a lot of tomatoes off that one. We're still doing good. I just quit watering them cucumbers. I don't want nothing to do with them. And the ants, you got something to eat on them. I don't like them that much where it hurts my feelings in them. Potatoes are coming up again. These. Got some peppers to be ready soon. Yeah, and this one aroma, it's pretty much dead. Warmed the heck out of it this morning. I gotta trim some of that dead stuff off. But man, it's just been so hot. You know. You just can't come out of, out here and do anything. Yeah, these peppers ain't gonna get any bigger. They're already turning colors. All right, man. Let's go down here and look at these tomatillos. I've never grown tom tomatillos, but you know they're just not putting anything out. And they're not. Yeah, well, that one's almost almost ready. <sighs> Maybe next year, guys. Maybe next year. Just a lot left to do. I cannot wait to get all this mess out of here. 
I got a whole winter's worth of work to get rid of this tree. But <laughs> y'all remember when I weed eated? Yeah, it ain't grown. That's the good thing. I have not mowed. I only mowed like four times so far this year. I ain't gonna be mowing again for a while, if at all. So all this is all cut back down. That tree is. That is a fire hazard waiting to happen. Yeah, but there's nothing I can do. You know me, I'll get out here this winter and I'll get all this stuff back to normal. Well, just a short video tonight, guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe, give me a like, smash that like button, and uh, give me a comment. Happy trails.